People what? done it. Right. Yeah. Do it Action! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say anything to you. This is how loud you got for him to get him to shut up. Oh. Oh, the volume oh, yeah, she's got is. Yeah. I have to her raise the volume side. higher yeah. and higher. Get and he everything. barely heard her, and he didn't even hear her. It was just that the whole room got quiet. He I always like, forget. We're she's rolling. No, I always forget she's a mom until she does that. I'm like, oh, that's right. That's right. I am a mother. Okay, so I'm helping you. Thank you, Joe. Hey, I want to tell you a story, Joe. There was this guy who painted a pub that is now being like being remade into flats in the UK. He painted this whole building. And then he said that the guy who hired him to paint this building kept adding on these extra tasks before he could get paid out. And so that's mm -hmm. when the painter said, you know what, fuck you. And he graffitied the entire building and he wrote this. A big dick? No. It's a video. So here we go. Uh, my name is Dean I'm from and I had no option but to do this. He had no option? Yeah. yeah. The customer gave me no choice. Tradesmen need paying for jobs. It's a big problem. There's lots of uh, online review sites for customers, but none for tradesmen. Oh man, if I'm Terry, I'm like, I fucking love it. <laughs> what you did, it's esoteric, it's, uh, it's yes. beautiful. So, exactly. He, this painter wrote, want your house painting? Don't be like Terry. Pay the bill. Now you will. Yeah. He's not gonna pay the bill. But nobody's gonna hire this cat because he did this shit. Exactly. That's what I said. I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. You're hurting your business. Hey, brother. <laughs> but he said that this was the first job since the new year, new year that he has gotten, and so he would work through his lunches. He would work as fast as he can to complete this job, and then once he completed it, he's claiming that Terry said, oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna pay you until you take out the gutters and fully paint the rest of it, whatever, which was not something that the painter had agreed upon once he quoted this man. But then he was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just fucking paint it, I just wanna get paid, I need to pay my bills, I'll fucking do it. So he ended up doing it, He and then Terry still didn't pay him, and that's the reason why he says he resorted to this option of doing the graffiti on the building, because yeah, Terry wouldn't pay. But Terry says they did agree on, on those tasks that this painter ended up saying that, oh, I'll do these extra things in order for him to not complete other jobs that they agree agreed upon. So then the guy who owns the building says, I was gonna pay him completely, like in full, once he finished the job that we agreed on, but then he decided to do this. I believe know? that's his logic, but I don't believe that a painter doesn't wanna just finish his fucking work. Right. Like, it sounds like something a property, like I have an uncle who does contracting and people try to do this kind of shit all the time where it's like, hey, um, can you also do this while you're here, do this while you're here, do this while you're here. This sounds like some of that kind of shit. Yeah, because yeah. most people want to do more work for more pay and better business because it just, that's their job. I don't. It just seems logical that why would the painter want like be like, I want to do more and make this and this and this, like extra extra gigs than what we initially agreed to. Do they not have contracts over there? Where like you paint this and then I I get paid this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a gentleman's agreement. I know. Yeah, I mean, no, they. He does claim that he had a quote made out to this man, Terry. Say so his name is Dean. The painter's Dean. So then Dean made a quote. They had agreed upon some shit. Then Terry told Dean, I will pay you immediately. And then Dean there, has been like, okay. There are some cases though where people are half assers, right? And you have to tell them to make the job normal. So they mm -hmm. like they'll fucking half ass a painting and you're like, what about that fucking corner? What about this? You didn't fucking finish this area. And they're like, you want me to do extra work? And it's just finish the damn True. job, you fucking yeah. moron. True. Yeah, so, people have, do have definitions of a complete painting. Yeah, and they're like, well, you want me to do extra, I might have to charge. And it's like, just complete the job. The corner's missing. This is missing. That's true. And I think it's difficult, man, because contracting, too, uh, it just, it's a lot of gray area. A lot. My yeah, uncle's there's not a great so contract. much, yeah. <laughs> there's so much add, gray area. Not a great contract. <laughs> I should add that. It's based Definitely. off of all, it's, it's, what they're supposed to do well is give you an estimate that is accurate to the, the final job. Yeah. But then what ends up happening is if they don't estimate it well, it'll go over the budget. Mm -hmm. And it usually always does. It always. usually goes over the budget, oh. yeah. 
Man, I recently heard from someone that they've worked with the contractor and that they got referred to by neighbors and then that the job didn't get done and then now they're suing them and then the other neighbors are suing them too. Does that sound It's familiar? so common though. That sounds so common. Yeah. You have no clue. It's the most common shit ever. Contractors getting sued, countersuing, blah, blah, blah. Neighbors joining in, blah, blah, blah. Neighbors, neighbors joining to sue the contractor? Yeah, absolutely. People who had who had the contractor to do similar yeah, they got work. fucked over oh, by like yeah. the same contractor and like three or four neighbors all got fucked over by the same contractor. The like, parts getting yard work done, like, who's doing your yard work, neighbor? Oh, cool. Refer him to me. And then they all do it and then they all got fucked over the same way. Because yeah. like one of the biggest contractor like fraud things or, uh, or scams is they, they'll start the project and the minute they like, let's say drill a big asshole in their backyard, they know you're not going to leave them. So they can start another project and another project and another project and now they have everyone's money in line and they can take however long that they need to to do all those things. And then they just do you run know away. my uncle? <laughs> Is that what he does? No way. Well, close. sometimes it's not a scam, but it's a, a failure to scale thing because I've, I heard that the biggest problem for contractors is they get popular like that and then people want them to do all these gigs and they don't know how to manage their time because yeah. they're used to running one or two homes. Yeah, that's, that's and, true too. And then all of a sudden they get seven homes and then they don't know how to scale the business. And they don't know how to say no. They don't know like they don't what they want their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the money, they run out of money quick. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Materials are fuck tons of money, right? And so they run out quick. Yeah. That's so. true. Damn, there's just a lot of issues, man. I think in LA too, there's a huge demand for contract work. And then so people just need shit to get done. And then there's not like how you said, like a Yelp for customers and a Yelp for contractors like that. That kid, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Wasn't like Angie's List or something? Isn't that supposedly yeah. like the thing that they market? That gives you the reviews of the companies. Yeah. So yeah, you and you use one of the companies, you can leave a review, and they get put together with the other reviews of their company, so you can go through. I know this. Amazon started doing one for services like maid service or like people come in and build shit for you and all that stuff too with reviews, mm -hmm. but. But reviews are everything, right? Like I use, so me and Nikki have a really sick realtor guy that we use to buy our, our condo. And so then like from him, I can get referrals of like contractor work and shit like that. Like I go, I do that. Cause I don't want to fuck with all the bullshit. How, yeah. How's your guys' like yard work happening? Like going? Our guy's fucking awesome. So I really, really like him. He, um, I think he, he was telling me, he was like name dropping some of the neighbors in the neighborhood that- So we got like, Charles Buckley, we got like, oh, no, no, just that, like, like, just like jobs he's completed. Like I did like that house customers. and that house and that house. You go ask him, and I'm like, all right, I will go ask him. So I went yeah. to go talk to him, and they're like, oh, this and we guy, get their work. yeah, this guy finished way, but way ahead of schedule, and like all these things that were great about him. Oh, cool, like his his own customers are actually uh, satisfied. So now he's actually ahead of schedule. He doesn't charge us until that part. Like he come, he puts up the money up front first. He finishes that phase and then he charges us. So I I love him like crazy. You should buy him some cinnamon rolls. We, we did. did. Get him some That's cinnamon tight. rolls. We did yeah. and water and, and coke soda. and yeah. chips. Wait, cinnamon rolls are so specific. Give him a turkey sandwich. We did get buy him a turkey we bought. sandwich. Oh, we didn't get him that. I'm gonna get him that next. Yeah. You should get him a, a honey glazed ham. Oh yeah, you should get him <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Get him some fruit too. They like yeah. fruit. Yeah. A basket of fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially Pineapple orange. Mostly. Don't get the melon and stuff. That's that's. Because because Gio's people likes orange. The honeydew, no. No, we don't like them. We like to sell them. Oh my bad. We like mangoes. They mangoes. Yeah, yeah, right. We'll put some <laughs> tahini on, yeah. on it. Oh, put tahini on it for him. Okay, I'll do that with some lime. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see, I already got, like, I got one of them. you if your contractor was legit or not? Because that was such a big job. The license. And we just Googled the license I, number. Okay, but the license I heard from another contractor is it's fucking easy to get, and they don't even know their shit some of the times. <gasps> That's true. That's dangerous. That's true, too. That's true, too. Well, I guess they the just take a test. That's why it's a dice roll. Well, yeah. yeah, that, and then, I mean, we have to get it approved by the HOA, so they look at all the plans, and they say yes or no, and then just oh. referring, because he's had uh, houses there that have, like, the job's been completed for like half a year, if not longer. So then we're like, how does how's everything holding up? Is it good? So yeah, and like in our neighbor across the street, his house has been under construction for like six months before I, I we moved in. It's still under construction and we're almost done. What the hell? Yeah. It's a different person. Oh man, that guy gets out. He sees your front yard. Oh, I he's so fucking pissed every yeah. goddamn day. That's what day. you guys were doing, so right? Nice. For like yeah. such a long time you were working with other people and then you're you're waiting months and months and months for plans and then yeah. you see other people getting their shit done. Yeah, yeah. we're like, fuck. This cat though on a Friday, he sees your guy's house he sees your front yard all fucked up, and he's like, ha ha, welcome to the party. On a Monday, he sees yeah. it's completely done, and he's like, who's your guy? <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. 
Cause like, I was making fun of you guys' yard and you're like, it's done, it's done, it means nothing to me, it means nothing. And I was like, oh no, it means nothing, that's terrible, that's terrible news. I was trying to make fun of your yard. We that wanted it to be dead so everyone could come over and But I didn't know it was done that fast. Yeah, that's yeah. fast. Ha ha, and you're making, Wait, is the pool nervous. filled in? Not yet. Filled but, in like with water? Not no, yet. like with the cement. Uh, it is. Cement. It's cemented What, is the bowl ready? No. <laughs> it's Wait, just one bowl? layer. So like got, the, got, so the cement that makes it the bowl, like it makes it oh, smooth. So there's the cement, <laughs> and then there's another layer that seals the water in. They gotta put that in, and they fill it up with water. Work. That's like the last, last step. Work. They're fucking building a house, dude. Are you doing? No, it's house? crazy. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yard. We didn't build the house. It's a the yard. yard. Wait, They're building the house. You didn't customize the house? No. No. So year round, you're gonna have the pool. You customized the house? Not really. I mean, oh, the house is gonna get built anyway. We picked out the aesthetics. That's is it. Is it a heated pool? Yes. Oh, fancy pants. We're going with yes now. Okay. Solar, right? Solar? No. No. We're Wasteful. getting there. We're getting Wasteful. there. Wasteful. No, we, we just have solar. Track. <laughs> you got solar panels? Yeah, it came That's with the house. That's dope. Really? Mm hmm. Yeah. It doesn't wow, feel like job, you're building a house. <laughs> you know, I did. Does great. it feel like you're building a house no. when the whole block is being built? Yeah, it doesn't really. It's not, not for like me. Your house not is for built. Me. For Casey, it does feel like that, but not for me. It just feels like. Cool, look at this building being built and someday we're gonna live there. I want you to picture <laughs> this though. That toilet, you're gonna take a shit in first. it. First. First, no, if, if really. the contractor did. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Wait, so I probably did. My old apartment building, they changed all our toilets out and I was the second person <gasps> to take a shit in there. Oh. Who was the first? My fucking brother came over. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> he ruined it. <laughs> did he you took know that, away from me. that they used to flush toilets with a pulley thing like that? Some bathroom Wait, still got that. Yeah. Oh, the pulley thing? Oh, that's yeah. fun. With yeah. the water the water reserve was up top. The reservoir was up top. They did I was that in Denmark and they had that. Yeah. And I was Gravity. like, what in the fuck? Gravity. <laughs> that's how they used to flush it. I was like, what? I was like, in Denmark, you guys are closer to Ikea. Just get a fucking... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> what are you doing?